basically, my plan was to prepare for vlogmas, you know, do all these, like, prep things beforehand, and be so completely ready and prepared to do this, and... up guys today is december 1st 2019 i am up and ready and excited for vlogmas because it is the first day of december which means it's the first day of vlogmas which means that i am very excited so i just said so basically my plan was to prepare for vlogmas you know do all these like prep things beforehand and be so completely ready and prepared to do this and I'm not. So, I'm not really sure what happened. Well, I know what happened. Like, work and life and whatever. And to be honest, Vlogmas is, like, supposed to be fun. Christmas is supposed to be fun. There's no need to, like, overly prepare. So, with that, I will start to construct my intro to Vlogmas right now as I'm filming the first video of Vlogmas. So, you will see the very short but, um, thoughtful intro before you see this clip anyway so you'll know that it's that it got done but um it's super short i mean for right now the plan that i have for the intro is like really really short because the plan that i had last year for the intro was really really long and i went back and watched some of those vlogmases and like the intro is like damn near half the video it's ridiculous like it's almost like a minute and like 30 seconds and that's like no one needs to watch an intro for that long so i don't do that the intro was really cute though if you go back and watch my past vlogmases but it was just too long. So I want the intro to be like 30 seconds or less. Like it was way too long last year. So that is that. Currently I am... I just got up. It is... Something to call? It is 7.56, almost 8 a.m. That means that it is time for me to wake up, which is why I'm awake. Um, I also am watching some YouTube videos. My plan is to try and get to Drug Mart, which is like a little... I don't know, the convenience store here, which is like maybe two doors down from me right now. I want to get there. I need to get a money order because today is the first, which means rent is due. And I also need to uh, get some more dishwashing, like pots for my dishwasher. And that's my cat in the background for here. And I also need to, uh, I think that's it though, just the money one in the dishwasher pad. I'm trying to save money as well because I've been spending way too much in the last recent months don't know what I was thinking apparently I thought I was rich but no so since obviously the holidays are here and I've already pretty much bought all my presents other than the presents that I've already purchased and the few that I need to get that's it like I'm not spending any more money so that is that so on the side of like Christmassy things that I've done I went to Walmart last night after I got out of work and I purchased a few items I can show you Okay, so they're all like under my pants. Alright, so I went to Walmart last night. Bought these mini Christmas lights for $3. I bought this little sign, which I need to put up right now, that says blank days until Christmas. And then it has a little snowman face. And you can like move his nose for the different days. I got these tags from Target a couple days ago. And then I got this wrapping paper so I can start to wrap some gifts that I purchased from family members. I also got some going out the door of my bedroom. I got these stockings. One for me, one for my roommate. I'm gonna put our names on them up here. Okay. Okay, so besides those things, that's about all I have that's Christmassy. Oh, other than the two reindeer and the Christmas tree that you probably will see in the intro that I got from Goodwill three days ago. So that's about it for Christmassy things. I was going to go to um, I was going to go get a Christmas tree last night, but I also got pretty discouraged because the cheapest Christmas tree I could find was like twenty dollars, and it was only a three foot tree. So I think I was just being cheap. I might go back and get it, but I also don't really want to, so we'll see.
so basically I just left Drug Mart well actually just just like I'm leaving my house right now but I left Drug Mart drove to my house to drop off the cat food eat the cat and put the dishwashing pods under the sink and now I'm moving back out to drive to work so yeah I'm going to work, not too far from there. Normally what I do once I get to work, if I get to work early, because I'm about to get to work really early, um, I'll sit and read. Before I get to work, I have to drop off my rent check, which is going to take a couple seconds. I'm like up here by the office, driving to the leasing office right now to drop off my rent check. But yeah, you know, let me know down below in the comments or just let me know when you talk to me, because people probably won't comment, I don't know. But like, why is like drop off rent day, paying rent, such a sad and somber day? It's like signing over my life all over again. Like sign the lease. So it's like you pay all your money for rent. It's like man, this is so sad. Like I get, <laughs> like I'm kind of not sad, but I just get so like, oh, uh, so frustrating. But TTYL. that I made. I had two yards of fabric and I um, made a big scarf to get across my neck. And here we are, more stuff. And it's because I just got these little blueberry muffins from Drug Mart because I was kind of hungry. Even though I eat at work, but sometimes I still don't want to like go in there hungry because then I'm going to be mad if I don't have to eat immediately. So I want it nice, moist, fresh out the oven. Bake blueberry muffins, but I'm not gonna get that for so four dollars. So that's what it is. Yep, and I bought so I bought Gatorade. I got cat food. Come on, I got cat food. I got dishwasher pods. I got blueberry muffins. And I got the money order. So basically, the way my building works is that you can pay online if you want, which obviously I would love to do, but there's a $20 service fee. So, no. Okay, so then I just go get the cash out of my account and take it to the little convenience store place, get a money order. for a service fee. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Like, what is, what's the service fee for? Like, for me to pay my rent? Like, you're charging me to pay my rent? Makes no sense. So, that's why on the first of every month I have to go do a scavenger hunt of find the bank, find the money order, get the money order, drop it off. Like, no. Really not that big of a deal because, like, all these things are, like, really, really close to me, but still. It's more annoying than it should have to be. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Here at work, trying to eat muffin without making a mess. Which I am still doing. Basically, I'm about to like just drink my little Gatorade, eat my muffins, and read my book. 
and I'll be back to you guys in a bit.